Hey, it's Michelle Yu with a sizzling athletic appetite. That's because I have basketball global superstar Stefan Marbury here who spent his past nine years in China, and that's why we're at Pinchang Hot Pot Bistro, making some hot pot one of your favorite meals, right? Yes, it is. It's definitely one of my favorite meals. What's the secret? The sauce. All right, I'm ready. Let's All go. Right. The sauce controls how good your food is. OK. We get a, a couple of bowls. You get a bowl. Here you go. I'm going to do a little drip of this. Yeah, you can do sesame oil. I got some garlic. I want you to try the real pepper. Okay. These are the peppers. Okay. Is that enough? That's Too it. much? Okay, good. Okay, so okay. we got everything. All right, so what are we going to order here? I'm going to basically let you eat what I eat. Tell them what we want. We want some meat fine, shadow, noodle, corn. 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 Oh, you mean, you okay? Mean. Potato. Potato. Potatoes. Potatoes, yes. <laughs> if you really want to have the experience, is to let him just bring okay. everything and then we just cook. Oh, is that what we're eating? So, this is what we're Whoa. gonna be having. We're gonna be having one of these big boys today. Don't sleep on the hot pot. The hot pot is serious. You can put that type of food inside the hot pot. Fresh, still moving. Okay, now can you bring some things to the table? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 They're gonna, we're gonna go back to the table. They're gonna bring our food and stuff. Okay, so this is good. <laughs> oh, look what is coming. So you want to mix it? Okay, mixing. Oh, this is hot. I feel it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Dip. No, no, you just let it sit in there and then you just, you move it around. Oh, you keep it down some. Keep it down I'll inside. Keep it down. Okay. And you hold it in there. How did China change you? Did it change you immediately? When I first got to China, I was I was being greeted by a bunch of people who were seeing me completely different than what was said about me. And they wanted to see if it was true. Like was I as crazy as they said that I was? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> when I said, yeah, I'm crazy. And now after nine years being in China, you're back, you've retired. <laughs> How do you sum up those nine years? It was so pure and so real and so authentic that night when I retired. Then the key to the city of Beijing, then a green card, and then a museum. 2012, a statue was built. How did that come into fruition? We won a championship. For real, I was just like, you're gonna build a statue of me because of the winning the championship? I couldn't believe it. Did you miss the NBA while you were over there? Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I miss, I miss playing against the best players in the world, but I saw something bigger going on. What's the next chapter in life? I just want to help people now. Life, basketball, my story, my movies. I kept myself looking looking right so I could be one of the participants. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you with some noodles? Okay. Is it safe to say that you've done a lot of growing up in China? I mean, if you don't grow from when you're 20 to 30, something is wrong. If you don't grow from when you're 30 to 40, something is wrong. On TV, I saw a clip of you singing Happy New Year <laughs> to a Chinese crowd. Wait, what I need you. Can we sing a little bit of that? Singing quite low. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> How would you grade my hot potting? You did good. Your chopstick skills are good. The, look at this. This is my chopstick you skills. You got it. I stab it. You in the game. Stefan, thank you so much for teaching me how yes, to hot pot. Yes, you're welcome. And this watermelon juice. Cheers. <laughs> Love.